In August, rippling Urhai Lake sparkles like a giant pearl in the highlands. Otelia acuminata blooms profusely and the underwater realm is just as lively. Native Schizothorax taliensis swims freely in their homeland. This fish species is unique to Asia's highlands. These nimble creatures with beady eyes have pert snouts with two pairs of slender whiskers. The fine scales on their backs and flanks resemble the shining suits of armor donned by medieval knights. The dark stripe across their bellies looks like a gaping gash. Hence the Chinese moniker, cloven bellyfish. Legend has it that these fish leap out of the water while biting their tails resembling the bows used by ancient archers. Therefore, they are known as Dali Bowfish. The fish feeds on plankton, aquatic insects, smaller fish, and shrimp. As a cold water fish, it requires relatively low temperatures and therefore grows at a slow rate. It needs six to eight years to grow to half a kilogram. From April to June, the species travels against the current. And heads for the upper reaches of her high lake to lay its eggs in the shallows. The eggs sink into the rock crevices and hatch among the gentle waves. The hatchlings then follow the streams to Urhai Lake and enter adulthood. In the 1960s and 1970s, local fish farmers tried to boost production by releasing large numbers of popular carp into Urhai Lake. Highly competitive big head carp fought with Schizothorax taliensis for the lake's plankton. Affected by damage to their natural habitats and excessive overfishing, the species was once threatened with extinction. As environmental awareness grew, the large-scale environment of Urhai Lake allowed the fish to re-emerge in the nearby streams and karst caves. Scientists have conducted extensive studies to master the processes in their domestication and artificial breeding, as well as key hatching techniques. In the near future, they will definitely be found across Urhai.